Hello, everyone. How's it going? So today, uh, I will learn to build a ping pong game uh, using Python, and I'm gonna sharing. I'm gonna be sharing with you what I made. So let's share the screen. All right. So uh, let's first of all run the program. Um, there is no graphic at all. Uh, very old school stuff, uh, but real amazing algorithms out there. So, like, yeah, it just hits the wall and or paddle, and it'll go back in the in the other direction. Yeah. And when let's go uh, to the, this one, the player A uh, will win an EVE score. All right, let's see how it works. So here's the old codes here. Um, so basically, Until here, uh, it's like a CSS code, right? We just draw the uh, graphics on the game, like this square, rectangle, this text, and all these other stuff. Uh, we basically uh, designed it a little bit, and the main algorithm starts in that while loop. Yeah, the main code, and also this function anyway let's see what's happening so uh first of all we import the turtle module uh, which enables us to draw something on the screen and then we create a new window with the dot screen uh, class or function and we store all information into wn variable and we add a title or whatever and so we add a background color, uh, which is black, and then we set the width and height the window, like which is uh, 800 to 600 height. And this tries tracer, actually, I don't understand, but it doesn't matter as I understand. So I will uh, skip that. And for the first paddle, which is paddle A in the left side, uh, I create a variable called paddle A and with this turtle class, we can create shapes and then uh, set the speed to zero because we don't need, we don't want any speed. And this shape is square and which is default as 20 by 20 pixel. And that's important. And the color of the shape is white and the shape size will be the width uh, multiply by five and the length uh, is like it's actually width but uh, in contrast a little bit and it's it will be multiplied by the one and the pan up okay and the go to is actually where it will be positioned on the on the screen and I said in the left side it's minus 350 and the zero for uh the y location so we don't need that yeah x and y okay so actually you know what uh, let's create a new file yeah python ping pong 3 and here let's go step by step and see what's happening so let's run the code. Of course, uh, we we need to add while. It doesn't need that. Really, it doesn't need that. Let's just break it down. Um. Okay. It just basically creates the pedal, the left pedal paddles uh, on the scene, which is this, right? 
And the same thing for the pedal B, which is in the right side. And for the bowl, it's uh, plain square in the white color and the shape size. Uh, we'll leave it default. And the go to is set to zero and zero, which is center of the screen, which we want exactly. So, and also the scores text, uh, it's, uh, we, we also say, high turtle here because we don't want any shape. We just want to write something with this function. And I write, I wrote my text and then align it to the center and the font is Tahoma uh, 24 bolts pool. And for the functions, what these functions uh, does exactly. So basically uh, I, I will, I'll talk about this, but before that in the while loop, we updated in every frame, okay? And here in the listen, basically it'll listen what we <clears throat> what we press in our keyboard, basically. It will allow inputs from, from us. <laughs> so basically uh, I said uh, on K press, so like when some K pressed. Uh, so actually there's an if else statement here, if the user, press W, it'll execute this function. If it's pressed S, it'll execute this code. And here I say, I, I wrote, I typed anyway, uh, up and down. And it's basically stands for the arrow uh, case on the keyboard. Up is for up and down is for down anyway. And basically when we press W, it'll execute this paddle A up, this function. So let's see what's going on in this function. Uh, we create a variable called y and we store something in that, into that. And paddle a that's y core, which is stands for y coordinates of this variable, this, this shape, right? Basically it gives the coordinate information of this variable and it's, it'll store it to the y location, y variable. And then we will add, 15 pixel, 50 pixel to this variable. And then we will set this uh, to, to the current, uh, to the current coordinate information and it will go up basically, right? When we hit W, it'll execute this code. It'll uh, store the whole uh, Y coordinate information into Y variable, and then it will add 50 to this variable, and then it will set this to y coordinates. Yeah, this set y is what stands for. It's it will set something to y location. And yeah, so for the down, uh, we will just make the same thing, just for the minus. And for the pedal B, we will make the same thing, just nothing too fancy here. Um, just the same. All right, uh, and after these functions, we'll we're able to move our paddle in the screen up and down. And after that, what we want to do is basically our little square on the on the center of the screen. It has to move around, right? And when it hits the ball, hits the wall, it has to go back and something like that, right? There's a lot of actions and let's break it down. So here I create two different variable called uh, dx, which is stands for delta x and delta y. And actually just, uh, let's say these are one. Uh, I just set it them to 0.3 because it will make the process a little bit slower. But let's say, there one okay it's easy to calculate okay anyway it doesn't matter so here uh basically i say ball dot set y ball dot y coordinates plus delta y variable so what's going on here basically i said uh get this um delta variable y variable uh, which holds the one, right? It, it equals the one and just 
plus it with the y coordinate of the ball, which is the current current uh, coordinates, and then store it to the or not set it to the y coordinates of the ball, right? Basically, it will move. It'll add this delta y coordinates, the current coordinate, and it'll set to the current coordinates, basically, and it will go up uh, pixel by pixel, one pixel and one pixel. And for the same, and same thing, same thing for the x uh, location, x axis, like basically set x for the for the x axis. Okay, it'll go infinitely, but we have to stop this little square in one point, right? And in order to do it, we put some if statements. Uh, basically, I said when the ball uh, y coordinates is bigger than uh, two hundred nineteen, uh, just multiply the value of this delta y variable uh, with minus one. Uh, so what does that mean? Is basically here we plus this variable to the y coordinates at this value to the y coordinates. And after that, it'll go minus them, right? Basically, if the ball uh, go to like positively, and hit the hit the wall, it'll go back negatively. That's what it is, right? And the same thing for the negative part. If it goes the negative part, uh, it'll also uh, multiply by the minus one because it'll actually minus like how to say in English. I I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> A little bit complex stuff. Um. Like basically, when the ball hits the wall, when the ball hits the ball, <laughs> should I write poem? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, when the ball hits the wall, uh, it will multiply it by the minus one, which the delta y variable multiplied by minus one, and it will here. Uh, like go back to other side basically yeah basically that's what's going on here and for the x coordinate which is sides when it goes like the right side and it goes the uh boundary it will set the location to the zero and zero uh like that and it will set the delta x to minus multiply by the mi minus one because we want this to go to other direction, contrast direction after it uh, goes the other wall. <laughs> uh, I messed up a little bit, but anyway. So I talked about a little bit about score here, but I will talk about them later on. So. Anyway, so here the same thing for the other side, negative sides, it'll go to negatively and we will multiply it by minus one to go to positively like minus, uh, multiply by minus is equal to plus, something like that. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. So what if this ball, the square, square or ball? Yeah, let, let's, let's say ball. <laughs> so what if this ball uh, hit the, our what was that paddle yeah what if this ball hits our paddle so it'll basically not set it to zero it'll go back to in the contrast in the other direction so how we can do it is by using some if statements i said if the ball ball the east coordinate of the ball is um greater than 340 and uh, x coordinate of the ball is like lesser than 350 uh, and y coordinate of the ball is less than y coordinate of the paddle b plus four and oh anyway anyway just uh let's let's explain that what's going on here um how can I explain it? 
So first of all, what the hell is these numbers here, right? What this stands for? Um, what is 340? What the hell this comes from? <laughs> so, uh, well, our scene setup here, when we created first, the width is 800, right? I keep that in mind. 800 and 800. Not at 800, just don't think like that. Uh, our paddle position is at like 350. 350 uh, pixel. And here we basically set 40, 340, because our shape is 20 by 20 pixel and it calculated with its origin point. And it's the origin point of the shape is the center of the shape. Like basically, if we want to calculate where it's exactly touching each other, we want to. Uh, we would like to uh, subtract the, the the side here, right? Basically, we, we we need to subtract half of the shape, which is ten, and that's why we get three hundred and forty. Anyway, I hope it's clear. And so, basically, I said if the ball basically touching start to touch the this paddle. And if it's the bigger, the greater than 350, which is just exactly between uh, the start and the middle, uh, we want to make sure it's not going anywhere if it's in front of them, if it's middle of them. And then the other condition is if the Y coordinate of the ball, is, it has to be less than the Y coordinate of the paddle A plus Four T, like basically, what is that? So our height of the paddle A is uh, equal to hundreds, yeah, and it's like fifty and fifty. So what is forty? Same thing with that. Our square is twenty by twenty pixel, and we have to subtract the half of the shape to calculate correctly, and that's why we subtract ten from the fifty. The half of this our paddle. And great, I'm making great job by explaining all this stuff in English. It's really hard for me, but I will do it. Uh, so, and uh, we basically say the Y coordinate of the ball, it has to be somewhere around between the, like from origin point plus the top or it has to be smaller or bigger than the, the bottom part, which is the price of this one. Like basically, you got it, you got it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, basically we say uh, this ball, it has to be somewhere around between the top or the bottom of the paddle in the Y cards, basically. If it, if it is, and if it's the touching, we we control if it's touching or not here, and then uh, what we can do is set the x value to the current value and like multiply by the minus one to uh, set it to go the other uh, direction. That's it, and the same thing for the other side. Uh, pedal, paddle, yeah, paddle, and we basically uh, work with the minus number instead of positive number. Uh, doesn't matter, and we again use minus multiply by minus to like minus plus minus multiply by minus is equal to plus, and it's go to the other direction. Yeah, something like that, and 
after all these a little bit complex explanation, here our game. We can control our paddle uh, by our case, W and S, up and down. Cool, and our square or ball is just go around. And one thing though, uh, we need to calculate the score, right? Uh, we see some score text here, right? Player A and player B. So let's take a look at how we can do it. So that's the last part. Um, as I said, I create my text here, like very static text. Like player A is equal to zero, player B is equal to zero, so on and so forth. And then here uh, on the x coordinates if statements, where the ball, if it goes beyond the 390 pixel in the x coordinates in, in the both sides, and then it has to one of the one of the player has to win some score right because if the ball goes around goes to the right or left that means one of them is lost and one of them is win and one of them has to win a score right so um here in the in this if statement we already talked about this Already, uh, we I defined this variable and set it to zero. And here I set the I add that like one to score a variable, and I clear it because otherwise it'll uh, print it in on the top of it, uh, which will be look awful. So we need to clear it before write something on of the on the top of it so after clear it we write something and in this inside of instead of writing static zero i said this i i put this curly braces and then dot format and score a for the first one and score b for the uh second one in the align center and the point information that's it so uh when the Ball uh, goes the positive one, which is the B side. The player A will get a score, and here it'll get a score, and it'll clear the score, and it'll add a new score to the text here. And the same thing for the uh, here, we increase the score B by one. And yeah, that's that's basically everything. Let's run the program and play our game. I want to play a game some. I want to play some game anyway. Um, delete. Score B is not defined. Really? All right, define it here. Score B. All right, cool. So as you can see, uh, each time a uh, ball goes the other side, uh, the other player win a new score and it'll update in this dynamic text. Uh, we made it dynamic from the static. Uh, we, we should prod up ourselves, right? Yeah, I think so, guys. Let's prod up ourselves. We made our game, guys. <laughs> So actually, I made it. Uh, I don't know you if you made it too. Who knows? Uh, I hope you do. 
no, yeah, let's let's play it a little bit. Oh, I can I can't catch it. Oh, yeah, I catch it. Yeah, that's all, guys. I will say that again. Um, let's just stop the screen sharing. All right. So I will tell this again, guys. Um, there's no graphics at all in this game and no audio, just program just programming because I'm learning program. I'm learning how to program and I'm not focusing on the graphic part or the audio parts because I don't want to uh, separate my focus. Like, so I suggest the same thing for you. Uh, even I'm not uh, experts or professional. Yeah, even I'm not professional uh, programmer, I would suggest you to focus only learn programming while you learn programming uh, instead of focusing graphics and audio and so on and so forth. Just focus on programming, okay? And later on, you can focus on the graphics and audio part as well. Um, yeah, that's it. And the algorithm out behind of these games are incredible are insane amazing right when you just take a look at this uh little normal game uh you will you you just think like hey man who who would like to play this game at all right nobody right but that's not the point that's great game because i made it i'm the founder of this game yes i invented this <laughs> Ah, uh, no. Anyway, I'm keep learning. I will keep learning these programs, Python. Um, I will learn some automation, machine learning. Of course, uh, machine learning is not a small topic. I don't know. Maybe I will focus on machine learning or automation or game development. I have to just... Um, I have to just uh, try them a little bit and decide which path that I want to go with. And then I will focus on that path 100%. So that's it. Bye-bye, guys.